There's a lot of buzz around Team Fortress 2 right now. The community claims the game is in its worst state it's ever been, and frankly, I wouldn't know. Despite being a Valve fanboy, deep into the Source ecosystem, I don't even pay much attention to a game if it's outside of Steam. This is the one game that never seemed to pique my interest. Besides Dota 2, but come on, it's Dota 2, ain't nobody care about this. My history with the game goes something like this. I tried it in 2019 around the time I made my Steam account. I don't even remember playing a casual match, I think I just hopped on a community to Hop server for like an hour and then forgot about the game. It seems like I installed it again in 2022. I only know this because I have a winter 2021 cosmetic case in my inventory. I think all I did was listen to the developer commentary and then uninstall the game. I kept hearing about it, people been telling me to play it. You know, I watched videos about Team Fortress 2, rocket jumping, all that. But it never captured me. Other games always had my attention. Until about May 14, 2024. Judging by achievements, I played one match. It didn't really hit. Went back to level for that too. A few weeks later, the fixed TF2 movement started happening. I wonder if this is what prompted me to try it again. Logically, you would think so, right? Could it be that I installed the game in 2022 due to the safe TF2 movement at the time? Maybe it's a psychological effect I don't even recognize, but I don't think it is. Safe TF2 didn't get me interested, and it wasn't fixed TF2 either. These events just coincidentally happened to align with me being bored of my current set of games and wanting to try something new. Majority of TF2 players either played it on Xbox as a kid or have over 2000 hours on Steam. For me, Team Fortress 2 feels like a new game. While I was playing though, I never once thought about actively looking for cheaters or bots. Even if there were, I was too busy learning how to play, learning the classes, the objectives. I still can't say for certain whenever I see someone getting mad kills if it's a cheater or bro just has 8k hours on Steam. The average TF2 player does, so how am I supposed to tell? I did get tapped by a sniper and then kicked from casual 10 seconds after joining. That would be an obvious case of hashtag fix TF2. But I I think the real magic, just like any other Swiss game pretty much, comes from the community servers. In fact, this is where I spend most of my time on. More players equals more chaos, more chaos equals more fun. Who wants to play competitive 6v6 with some tryhard ass players that get mad because you're not cooperating optimally? Not me. Who wants to hop on 2-4, 24-7? Yes sir, you already know. Imagine spamming demo man in the sewers and there's no one there. Maybe one player and you can't see him because he's a spy and then he comes up behind you and starts giving you intensive backshots. Like I'm not into that. I wanna see the kill feed show I killed a soldier, a heavy, the medic that was healing them, an engineer and his turret with 4 grenades. And then the spy can come up and aggressively hit me from the back because it's instant respawn. I love the type of deathmatch where you die and then respawn within the same second and it just goes on forever. This is the most fun I had in TF2 and I prefer it over sweating and casual. I just wanna goof around sticky jumping, go for wild plays, not be scared of dying. Not gonna lie, not being able to jump when ducked is crazy, like I get the quake thing, I play different too but come on brody this is a serious game you probably want to hear more about how valve should fix the game or not depending on how many videos you already watched but i personally do not care maybe if i grinded 4000 hours of competitive like you did i would be able to relate but the game feels playable to me same way cs2 is playable you just have to accept that valve doesn't give a shit and you will forever have to maneuver your way through the lobbies and servers you know sorting them out making the game playable for yourself i've seen some old players talk about how if this was their introduction to the game they wouldn't have stuck around i can see how a new player hopping on his first match getting spawn killed by a sniper and then kicked will quit the game right there i'm pretty accustomed to valve's anti-cheat so it didn't surprise me those are my honest thoughts about the game though Thai shit, Thai shit. <laughs>